Welcome to day 10 of our 21 day Pray First devotional. The subject in your devotional today is the God kind of faith. The God kind of faith. Let me read to you what Jesus said in Mark the 11th chapter about the God kind of faith. In verse 22, Jesus commanded and said, have faith in God. Verse 23, he said, truly I'm telling you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, but does not doubt in his heart, but believes in his heart that what he's saying will happen or come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I'm telling you, whatever things you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and then it will be yours. Listen now, believe that you have received it and then it will be yours. Now, the God kind of faith, what what is that? Do you realize that we're born of God? You literally, as a child of God, are born of him. Whether you're a Christian or not, you're actually made in the likeness and image of God. Isn't it incredible that the way God's faith works, if you will, is the same way it works in us? And here's how it worked. You go to the book of Genesis, when God spoke the world into existence or even re-existence, when he reformed so, so much of the universe. And, and when he said these words, like be, and it was. Earth do this, and it did. Firmament do this, and it did. And he spoke, and it came to pass. And God said, and it was. And God said, and so Jesus cursed in that day a fig tree. And that fig tree died. And the disciples looked and said, hey, a day or so ago, you cursed that tree. And now it's dried up from the roots. Peter's like, Jesus, come on, man. What's that all about? And Jesus answers the question of how the fig tree died by saying this, have faith in God. Literally, the Greek says, have the God kind of faith. Because I'm telling you, Jesus said, if you will believe in your heart and speak out of your mouth, it will come to pass. So when you pray, now this is asking God for something, petition prayer. You must believe that when you pray, that by faith you have received what you've asked for. In other words, it's mine now by faith. He said, if you will do that, then you will see it in the natural. In essence, it's simply this. God's word, which created the universe, abides in you. Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, lives within you. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. And he dwelt among us, and now he dwells within us. And that's why the Bible says, put the word of God in you. So when I speak God's word out of my mouth, and I believe God's word, the same authority in the words of God coming out of my mouth in faith will cause the circumstances of life to bow their knee. Imagine that level of intimacy with God in prayer. So many precious people pray a prayer in the air and just wait and see. Maybe somehow God in all this cosmic space may or may not hear me and I'll just wait and see. But no, no, no. We are called to walk so intimately with God is to know his will by knowing his word and then proclaiming that what God says about me is true. And when I pray, Father, I believe that I receive what you promised me in your word and then you lay it out, whatever the word of God promises. And it's mine by faith. And I have it now. And I walk by faith and not by sight. And I will trust you. And I will walk in the God kind of faith. And amazingly, Jesus didn't compare it to, you know, getting even your body healed. Or even a miracle in the human body, which is pretty remarkable. He looked away from the fig tree. But listen, which dried up from the roots. That means part of it still looked alive. That means when you walk with God, he deals with the roots in faith and then everything on the outside of it eventually shows up. Jesus showed them how this faith works and he literally is proclaiming to them, I want you to live this way, not just in a physical body. He said, then he turned away from the tree and he pointed to a mountain. He said, the faith of God that made that mountain will cause it to pluck up and go into the midst of the sea. That's the God we serve. That's the powerhouse 
available to you in Christ. So let's be devoted people to prayer. Keep growing in God. Keep making your life a pray first life. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.